This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. We knew that if we didn't do something, uh, that you know Lake Tahoe would be the next water body to fall victim. <laughs> The ongoing effort to keep Tahoe blue may have just gotten a little bit easier. A look at what's being done to ensure a crystal clear lake in tonight's Channel 2 News Big Story at 5.30. Boy, I love when we fly our Sky True drone over Lake Tahoe. So beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, mm. for sure. Okay, so the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers has uh, agreed to provide about a $1 million grant to continue the fight against aquatic inv invasive species at Lake Tahoe. I'm Landon Miller. And I'm Kristen Remington. Thanks for keeping it here tonight. As Ryan Kennedy shows us, the best way to keep unwanted threats out of the water is to find them at the source. So you can start it now. The skies were just as blue as the water Friday morning on the Sand Harbor Beach as a small crowd of boaters made the initial launch into Tahoe at this dock's opening day. How are you? But before any watercraft is given the go-ahead to set sail, they first must pass a test. What was the last body of water that you had this boat in? One that inspects the body of a boat to better ensure that no harmful species make it into the lake. The cost is not prohibitive, but it was painless. You know, it didn't take very long. Make sure everything's clean, drained, and dry, not carrying any mud, not carrying any water or, or plant debris. Or and certainly not carrying quagga or zebra mussels. Um, these are the species that we're really looking out for. It's unfortunate when they get into a new water body and you'd pretty rapidly see um, the effect that they would have on the lake. They can really choke up the waterway, uh, harm the environment, really uh, degrade the recreation experience. Fortunately, thanks to federal grants like the one just given to the Tahoe Regional Planning Agency, boat inspections have been a yearly defense effort since 2009. You're all set? You're all done? Yeah. And one of the most successful programs keeping the lake clear. So we're going on 10 years with no new invasive species on the lake, and we're really hoping to uh, you know, keep that going. And the funds won't just be used for preventable measures, but also to fight current problems in the water, like Asian clams here at Sand Harbor. Found their way into the lake at some point you know, decades ago to try and to, uh, manage or eradicate those species better. Because one less threat to Tahoe's ecosystem means a better experience for everyone at the lake. Covering the story from Lake Tahoe, Ryan Canaday, Channel 2 News. The funding from the Army Corps will be used to uh, develop a monitoring plan and one that surveys the lake to give experts a better idea of where invasive species populations are coming from. Hmm.